Before bed bugs boomed in population within recent years, homeowners more frequently dealt with bat bugs. Bat bugs are blood-sucking pests that can appear if bats have nested somewhere in your home. These pests may look similar, but in this video, we'll go over key differences in their appearances and habitat so you'll know the best way to treat each one. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about pest control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. While bat bugs and bed bugs look nearly identical, a few characteristics set them apart. Since these pests are so small, you may need magnification to see their differences. We'll start by describing bed bugs. Bed bugs are tiny that range between one fourth to one third of an inch in length. They're oval shaped, flat, and brown, almost like apple seeds. If they've fed, they become elongated, swollen, and take on more of a red tone. Bat bugs are nearly identical to bed bugs in appearance. They have the same general shape as bed bugs, but they have longer hairs around their bodies. Though most people will be unable to tell bed bugs and bat bugs apart by looks alone, it's easier to differentiate between the two by observing their different habits and habitats. Bed bugs and bat bugs both feed on blood from warm blooded animals. While bed bugs prefer to feed on humans, bat bugs will prefer to feed on bats whenever possible. They will feed on other animals if they need to, but bat bugs will not be able to reproduce without bats. Bat bugs will find their way into homes when bats have nested in attics, wall voids, chimneys, or other secluded areas. Unlike other parasites like ticks or fleas, bat bugs will travel away from their hosts to hide in nearby cracks and crevices close to where the bats roost. If the bats were to become absent for a long period of time, the bat bugs will then travel from their hiding places to feed on any other animals they may be able to find. You may notice bat bugs in or around your attic or around the upper levels of your home. When bed bugs infest a home, they're usually found on the ground floor hiding in mattress tufts and folds, in bed frames, behind picture frames, underneath and inside of electronics, underneath furniture, or behind electrical plates. When looking for bed bugs, look for any blood stains, droppings, or smears on your bedding, blankets, pillows, and mattress. As similar as they appear, bed bugs and bat bugs require different treatment methods. Bed bugs require persistent treatment in order to stop any infestation. However, you can get rid of bat bugs by simply ensuring bats are unable to nest in your home. To get rid of bed bugs, the first step is to thoroughly wash your bedding. Transfer it into a large plastic bag, then into the washing machine. Use the highest heat setting on your washer and dryer to kill any adult bed bugs present. Do not put the bedding back until after treatment is complete. Once the bedding has been washed, you'll want to treat the infested room with products like Flex 1010 and Gentrol IGR. These together will kill and control bed bugs in all stages of their life cycles in multiple environments. The application rate for a severe bed bug infestation is to mix 6.4 fluid ounces of Flex 1010 into one gallon of water. Spray just the mattress tufts, edges, seams, and folds. Then, mix one fluid ounce of Gentrol IGR into your solution to treat 1,500 square feet. Once combined, spray the bed frame, box spring, furniture, closets, flooring, and baseboards. Use a flushing agent like Pirate Aerosol to clear out any bed bugs hiding in tight cracks or crevices. For spots where liquids are ill-advised, like behind the electrical outlet, defense dust will kill and control insects that attempt to cross its dry barrier. With a handheld duster, apply two to three puffs to thoroughly coat the application area. Once the room has been treated, we recommend you use mattress and box spring encasements to stop the infestation from spreading any further. If you instead have bat bugs, control will focus on removing bats from your property. First, find out where bats are nesting, then use exclusion products to deny them access. Voids can be stuffed with copper mesh, while tight cracks and crevices can be sealed with caulk. Larger openings may require more heavy-duty materials. Once openings are sealed, we recommend you treat your property with a broad-labeled insecticide like Supreme IT. This will kill off the bat's food source, insects. In a handheld pump sprayer, mix and apply a general rate of one fluid ounce of product into one gallon of water to treat 1,000 square feet. Broadcast your solution throughout your lawn, then apply a barrier application around the outer perimeter of your home by spraying three feet up the wall and three feet out. With no food available, bats are less likely to nest in your home, therefore you won't have any more bat bugs. 
Before handling any pesticide, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets out of the treated areas until dry. Bat bugs may look similar to bed bugs, but it's important to identify which one you're dealing with so you can use the right treatments to eliminate your infestation as quickly as possible. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop pests from infesting your property, and we offer fast and free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.